Chet and I are so excited to check out and test drive this 1972 Cuda. Um, just came in last week, really nice car, quick through the check-in process, um, detailed, now just ready to go to your garage. Yeah, what a quality car. I just want to start out, this was, it started life as a 318 Barracuda, uh, but man, this thing's a 346 pack Cuda now. I mean, just yeah. a fantastic restoration. And this was a previous owner said this was a California car. So the floors, frame, undercarriage is awesome on it. Just did a gorgeous job on it from bumper to bumper. Yeah, I love the black, black interior, flat black hood. Yeah, I, I love the flat black hood. I love the side stripes. Just gives it a nice little touch, you know. Underneath the hood is, I'm gonna say, is the only thing that's not like show quality. If a guy wants to detail that up a little better, you can. But uh, great running 346 pack. It's got the stock manifolds, power steering, power brakes, and look at that, Dalton, air conditioning. Yeah, that's huge. That's yeah. sort of it is huge. A lot of our customers definitely want air. When I say as far as the detail stuff, um, just when they did the restoration, they took all the glass out. They took uh, dynamited the floors. I mean, they did an awesome quality job. They just didn't do like the inner fender aprons and stuff like that like they should have. But that's the only thing holding this car back from a, a really high dollar car because it is super nice. Yeah, really straight. As far as our hood goes, front to back lines up really nice. Um, it is a little older restoration, so there's a few little black touch-ups right along the edge here. I would definitely classify this as a local car show quality cruise night awesome driver. Yeah, I think not a trailer queen, not a trailer but it's, queen. It's, it's gorgeous. Though. I think you could definitely take a trophy at your local car show. You definitely would. Look how straight the body is. You look up and down the sides, the body's laser straight. Uh, the wheels and tire combination is great on it. It's got some 255, 45-17s. Back of the hood lines up nice, top of the fender. The only thing I've really seen on it, it has a couple bubbles in this door right here at the very bottom, right there. And then the nice thing is it's black, so a guy could definitely uh, get that fixed. But other than that, I mean, the bottom of the fender is perfect. The lower quarter is excellent. All nice and solid. Doors are great. I love the strobe stripe on it. Yeah, it's sharp. Very, very sharp. And the interior is beautiful as well. How about the rear spoiler? I mean, that really sets this Cuda off as well. Um, on the roof line here, as we go through here, it's an excellent shape. So many times you're going to see a little bubble or a little problem where the seamed factory seams. It's got tinted glass that looks great all the way around as well. A lot of you guys seen this one in our last uh, Wednesday video. And that tinted glass is removable. Yeah. So you if can it, see just on the edge here. Yep, I love it, but if a guy wanted to take it off. Door panels are awesome. Too. It's that leather wrapped armrest and stuff too. They're in great shape. It's got the remote mirror. I love the aftermarket gauges. They did a fantastic job. Your factory air works on this one. The interior is just super soft, almost like a leather, isn't it? It's kind of yeah. naga hide. It's very, very soft. Interior's gorgeous. Headliner's perfect. No wrinkles or nothing like that on the headliner. It's got new wood grain on the console. Dash pad is excellent all the way through. It's not a cap. I mean, it's definitely a pad. You can see that there. Whole car is just absolutely sweet. Inside the trunk, you can see our uh, pictures in the trunk and of the undercarriage, guys. Go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. Uh, the trunk looks beautiful. It's all speckled with a mat and spare and jack and all that. Look at the reflection anywhere in this black paint. It's gorgeous. I love the Cuda exhaust coming out the back. I really don't think this one will be around long, Dalton, with the sound, the look, the horsepower, the straightness, solidness. Mm -hmm. Seems like the ones that, I don't, that I'd love to look at every single day, you know, never give me that opportunity. They always sell too quick. <laughs> yeah, and this one's definitely going to be one of those cars as well. As we go over the quarter panel, I mean, just quarter is just perfect here. Try to slow it down. Sorry about that. What do you oh, think of what? Merv? Oh, what? He said, I want to go for a ride. Sorry, Murph. Inside corner of the door lines up great. Again, nice gap. Little tiny paint, paint chip here. 
So it's got a couple tiny little things here and there. Um, but like I said, that's why it's not a trailer queen. Other than that, I mean, what a, what a gorgeous Cuda. Dome light works as it should. The door jam paint's all nice. Excited to hear this one run, D. Yeah, me too. I'm excited to see if it drives like it looks. Hope so. We'll go ahead and take over and all fire it up. You didn't think you were going to get to drive two in a row, did you? No, I didn't. I, I got to drive the GTO and I figured I figured uh, you'd be getting me back with this next one. Windows go up and down really nice. Yeah, all new felts and uh, roof rail rubbers. All new, looks like all new felts are in the restoration. The windows up on this thing. Looks so nice. Absolutely sweet. Chad and I were just talking. We love those gauges. I'd never seen those before, but those are yeah, they're beautiful. Auto, yeah, they're auto meter gauge and everything works perfect. We got uh, 65 pounds oil pressure, um, tachometers running just over a thousand RPM, gas gauge works, volt gauge works, temperature gauge works. It's got uh, 2,845 miles on the uh, odometer, which I'm guessing is on the restoration. Um, as I mentioned before, the, it's got a lot of like leather wrap stuff in here. Headliner, Look at the headliner too. That looks leather. The seats, I mean, it's freaking nice. Yeah. This I mean, that's all I can say. The interior is gorgeous on it. Um, as far as the radio goes, you know, that freaking thing works, huh? Not a lot of time to dick with that, but it's got an Alpine. And uh, heater fan works, air conditioner works as well. Okay. Yeah, no, I see felt good. Wipers work. Not quite sure on the. Uh, it's like the wipers maybe don't park all the way deep. But the work, all the speeds work good. Even all the you know, new brackets and everything. For, yeah, they they went good. above and beyond on this thing, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Very nice. This has got a 323 sure grip in it. Speedometer works perfect. I mean, there's no bounce in those disc brakes. I mean, they stop you right now. Look at that. No pull left or right. Really nice full pedal there. This guy must want you to fly by him or what? I don't know what he wants. Probably not going to happen. Um, as we go down the road, Transmission shifts good. I was just gonna kind of get on it and go through the gears there with a slapstick, but then we had the slow mover in front of us. Yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of turn around up here and uh, take this guy out of the equation. How's yeah, we got sound? a pace car in front of us right now. We're gonna try to divert <laughs> divert our roof so we can. As far as our steering goes, 40 mile an hour, perfectly straight. Um, this really quality driving Cuda. Yeah, it is. Rearview mirror is nice and tight. So it kind of sounds like I'm hoping the radio works. I don't know what's going on on that, but might just look. Yeah, yeah, we'll or look into that. Man, I just can't get over just how quality the interior is and the it's gauges. Nice. Just classy. Even this, I mean, how nice this padded dash is and how good it fits around the AC stuff. So many times it's just half assed Oh, I know. Yeah, a lot of times you have these hanging down, goofy, or yeah. just really, really clean. Remote mirror is nice and tight on it as well. No way, Timmy, you're not gonna get ahead of us here. A lot of pace cars on the road today. Yeah. Yeah, you can feel the, that six pack kick in there. Trip to going into second. Now she's moving. You now she the, wants to go. Yeah, you can just hear those um, Reduces open up. Cool car. Really drives nice. I mean, as we're going down the road, the, the cool thing is just check out these brake, the brake system on it. The brake system is awesome. Like I said, great driver. Just a fun turnkey Cuda. Yeah, check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. 
Uh, links down in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.